Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. So today we are going to discuss about how to create a custom chat GPT with Python web application. So now I'm going to tell you what is the process to do this and what is the benefit of doing this. So first of all, when you are trying to interact with OpenAI chat GPT via and coding like Python or Java, you need an API support from OpenAI. And this API support is not free because OpenAI provide their AI as a service, okay? So you have to buy that API key. Minimum, you have to pay $5, okay? So today I have already paid $5 to show this particular exercise as a demo to you. So OpenAI, they are providing their API key as a paid service. After creating the API key, you can able to use Python, Java, or Scala to develop your own custom applications, or you can even integrate web application to it. Now I'll be telling you what is the purpose of creating custom chat GPT when so already we have the free chat GPT service. So free chat GPT service has a limitation. So that is first reason. And second, you have your own enterprise or a company and your company is based on marketing related company. Now imagine you have to give an AI chatbot to your employees. So whatever the marketing related questions they ask, they have to get the answer from the AI. So in that case, you have to build your own custom chat GPT with the help of open AI service and you have to create your own custom prompting. So what is prompting? So in short, I will tell you the way how you are organizing your question and you are asking that question to the chat GPT so the chat GPT can understand. So this particular process is called prompting. So I already made a video of what is AI prompting and the link is there in the description box of this video. Now, we understood what is the need of creating such custom GPTs. Now I will tell you what is the advantage with respect to the revenue part of it. So when you create a custom chat GPT, for example, there is two ways to create a custom GPT. So the way what I'm going to show you today is the first way. You can create a Python application or a web application. You can create your own custom chat GPT, for example, for fitness or for data related services or for IT services or for engineering services. You can create your own custom GPT. Imagine today I'm going to create a GPT for a fitness. Now, after after creating this i can create this as a web application and i can host this website now via this i can get a lot of traffic and with that i can able to monetize my web application and that means i can run advertisements and i can make money so this is one way and the second way of creating chat gpt is there is an option in your regular chat gpt web application just go to chat gpt website the free one and you will be seeing an option of creating custom gpt where you can create a custom gpt within like three to four steps and you can feed all the custom prompting when i say prompting custom questions so that your custom chat gpt will be in that way now respect to the revenue part on the second way is in the, so in the last chat gpt release event ceo of open ai informed a news that soon they are going to going to build a chat gpt store it is similar to your android play store similar to the chat gpt is going to build a app store so where you can upload your custom gpts and now they can get money from open ai for the more usage of your custom gpt by the people for example if you take android you are building a mobile application and you are uploading it to the play store now google is paying you for your app via advertisement and we call that as ad mob service in google similar to that in iphone also you have in app store creators will get money from app store so similar to that open ai is also planning to have their own gpt store and they are planning to share the revenue with the creators who create a custom gpt let's get into the practical okay now let's get into the practical first i will show you the demo so this is the web application that i have created for my custom chat gpt okay and uh, this custom chat gpt is especially to give you the answers only related to the question health and fitness so now let me paste my question so how frequent in a week i have to exercise now generate so if you see i got an answer related to my question now imagine i'm asking an another question Tell me about a cat. Generate. Now you can see here the question about a cat is out of scope as it is not related to health and fitness. Okay. Now how come the chat GPT is responding this way? So like it should generally respond for any question that we are asking, right? So how this got customized with this particular functionality? So this is what called the custom prompting. Right. So now let me go to chat GPT, the one which is available for free. Right. Now let me trigger the same question here. Okay. So first question, how frequent in a week I have to exercise. So I'm getting some kind of uh, answer. So the answer is started getting generated. Right. Now what I'll do, let me stop this. Okay. And then what I'll do, tell me about a cat. Now this chat GPT will respond me for this question as well, because this is not prompted in a custom way but it is possible to do here also you can even make this 
free available chat GPT also uh, to answer in a custom way. You can able to do a custom prompting. Okay, so you know something that there is a course available in internet in the world of internet, like how to speak with AI application, and that is what called prompting. So they are selling courses for AI prompting. So in I have done two things to make my uh, custom GPT unique from the general GPT. The first thing I have made a custom prompting. This is the heart recipe of this video. I'll show you that. And the second thing is I have developed a web application, right? So you can see here, right? I created a web application and I have customized by making a custom prompting. So the custom prompting even you can do for the general chat GPT, which is available. But I'm just telling you the importance of prompting. Okay, fine. Now let's jump into the code. So before getting into the code, let me show you the website platform.openai.com. I told you to generate an API key and then only this exercise is possible. So you can see here, I just uh, increased my limit to $5. I paid $5 to OpenAI and I used $0.03 only. I ran this application many times with a different question, but still uh, they charged me $0.03 only. So you can able to pay for this at least for some practice purpose you can pay and you can have it for some time and you can see like I have my API keys here. You can able to generate the API keys only you have some credit limits fine. So now you can click this create new secret key just create it and then you have to use that without creating an API key or with wrong API key when you run the code the code will not work fine. Let me jump into the code. Okay, so now you have to create a .env file. Okay, in this file, you have to create a key as OpenAI API key equal to, and the value is the key which you created in the OpenAI website. Just paste it here. Copy there, generate there, copy it, and then paste it here. So I'm just keeping it as a separate file by creating .env file. Now, I have two more files, chat app.py and the web interface.py. I'll show you what framework I used to create such web application also. First, let's go to chat GPT app.py. So here, first thing I have to import this OpenAI import and then OS. And this is very important dot env load dot env because I have dot env file which has some information required for my code. So I have to load that here. So this particular library, what it will do, it will search for dot env file and then it will load it to the program wherever you invoke this load dot env function. So next, this line is so important. Client equal to open a API key OS dot get env. So get env means you are getting the value from this dot env file for the given key. So this given key should be same as what you have given inside this double quotes. Now I'm creating a function called a structure generator. I'm one parameter I'm getting to this function is prompt. So this prompt is nothing but the question that you are asking. So I have invoked this method. I'm using this method in web interface.py. Let me show you when I come to that code. So first line is important. So chat completion equal to client.chat.completion.create. So this is something like where you are mentioning about the model of GPT you are going to use and the role you are going to use and your question. So here you have to create this message block and role equal to user. So in chat GPT, you have three roles, user, system, and then assistant. So here we are using user and content equal to prompt. Now model equal to chat GPT 3.5 turbo is free. So you can use it. If you use four, then you have to pay for it. By the time four is not free and then return chat completion. So now whenever I'm going to use this function, so, so wherever I'm going to use this function, so it will be returning this functionality the chat completion now so now let me show you web interface.py so the web application framework what i used is streamlit so streamlit is a wonderful web application framework for python and especially for data science and machine learning algorithms streamlit is a perfect place to create a web application and you can see in my entire code i'm not using any html tags or css or nothing right because streamlit is taken care of so streamlit is taking care of everything i don't want to do any type of designs here okay so now i have to use this so you have to install this and so the next is you have to import your chat gpt app code so which is the code what you have written here i'm just importing and i'm just invoking the function structured generator so this one also i'm just referring here so now i create a main method now st st is nothing but the object name of streamlit so which we have given here so st dot title let me go back to the web ui 
So you can see there is a title here called fitness, right? So st.title, whatever you give here, you will be seeing here in the title tab. So whatever you give here, you will be seeing that in the title place. And then you can see st.write. It's like you are writing something on the web application. So you can see this generate health and fitness based information on a given topic using custom GPT AI. You can see the same line here. Okay. And then user input equal to st.text input. Enter the topic dot dot dot. Now you can able to see the same here. Enter the topic. Let me refresh this. You can see here enter the topic and dot 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 in the text box. So this text input will generate a text box for you. Fine. And then if st button generate. So I have a button here and that has a label called generate. So if st dot button generate when someone clicks that button. So the next thing is prompt. So prompt equal to. So here comes the prompt. So you will be typing some question here, right? So that question comes and gets stored in this variable user input. Now let me show you. If you see the end of line of this prompt equal to line, I'm passing this user input. But apart from your question, I am also giving some prompt to the GPT. So this is what the magic here. So this is what the custom prompting is all about. So, I, so I'm making this GPT to behave in a way that it should respond only for the question related to health and fitness and not related to any other question. So this is what this prompting is what doing the magic so you can see i'm just creating a mindset for the gpt you are a fitness person okay i'm just creating a mindset then so just respond if the question is related to health and fitness just say the question is out of scope if the question is not related to health and fitness and then comes your question so this is what called prompting is all about this is the secret piece of this code you know and this is what i said i'll be making such more videos about ai promptings in my upcoming uh, series fine now come back so now result equal to structure generator now i'm invoking the function and i'm passing this question now the chat G G G now the chat gtp will start working and it will give me the output so to display the output i'm using this particular line result dot choice of zero i'm just getting the uh, so the output of uh, chat gpt will be with in, in a sequence of array so i'm just picking array of zero which is choice of zero okay so the choice is internal variable used by the chat gpt and the message dot content i'm just displaying that message in the web ui so this is what is all about the application is now how to run this right so how to run this so you have to run this not with python command or py command it should be streamlit run and then you have to give your web interface dot py enter so now when you run this see you got the web application here now it will show you the url also and the port number 8501 is the port number now you can use the chat gpt of your custom web application now you can even host this in your own website and run some advertisement and make money so this is all about the video and this is a part one video so as i told you there is two part of creating custom gpt one is through api by creating web application using python or java and the second thing is you can able to create custom gpt from the chat gpt website itself so that is a part two video i'll be uploading soon or make sure you see that video in the link in the description box of this video so that if it is available you can have a look so i'll be making so many videos related to ai data science it's all about learning all about algorithms so please stay touch with my channel and subscribe my channel and one more important thing i am not only making videos about ai i also make videos about data technologies especially big data engineering like spark hadoop cassandra no sql databases google bigquery and many other data related tech stack just please go to my channel and have a look and please forward this to your friends and colleagues once again thanks for watching i have given my linkedin and instagram url in the description box of this video thanks for watching